Right, in this example, we're given a formula. Here's the formula right here, a sub n. Remember, a is the value of the term. So n means any position. So the value of the term at any position equals a sub n minus 1. So that would be any position but the position before it. So if n was the 50th term, n minus 1 would be the 49th term, the term before it plus 5. So this is a recursive sequence because I need to know the term before it to find the next term. Um, and we're given the first term, a sub 1 equals negative 4. And we want to find the first five terms. All right, so let's find a sub 2. So that's the second term. So that would be a, well, it would be 2 minus 1 plus 5, because we're, because n, this is our second term right here, so n is 2, and that would look like a, well, 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 5, and a sub 1, I know that, it's right here, so I put that in here, this is negative 4 plus 5, and that is 1, so that's our second term. Let's find our third term, a sub 3. So that would be a sub 3 minus 1, and then plus 5. And that would look like simplified. 3 minus 1 is 2, plus 5. And a sub 2, well, that's this term right here, the previous term. There we go. So that's 1 plus 5 equals 6. So probably now you're getting the idea. And the fourth term, let's find the fourth term. Fourth, so a sub 4, well that's a sub 4 minus 1 plus 5, which is really a sub 3 plus 5, a sub 3 is 6, and then I add 5 and I get 11, and now we want to find the fifth term, which is a sub 5, and the formula says that's a sub 5 minus 1 plus 5, 5 minus 1 is really 4, plus 5. a sub 4 is the previous term, so that's 11. Add 5, and then we get to 16. So that's an example of a recursive formula, and that's how you find the terms. You just kind of follow the formula, and so this should help you figure out what all the ends and uh, subscripts are, the end of this lesson.